MP. Oh, I call Matt King. Here, yeah. um, I'd like to speak. Oh, here we go. I'd like to speak on the supplementary order paper in, in relation, generally in relation to the reviews. Oh, they've all popped up now. They were holding, they were holding, holding their heads in shame before. Same with the Green Party down there, contributing nothing to this speech. Contributing nothing to this because they don't have a leg to stand on because they know it's fundamentally wrong. This is a spurious, self-serving bit of legislation. And it, it's in need of review. You need to review it, and there's no logical argument why you can decline this supplementary order paper regard having a review, having a fresh set of eyes and ears to look at it, because you know it's wrong. Sorry, not you know. The, 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 yeah, sorry. The, the coalition government know it's wrong. And I'm going to talk about the Honourable Andrew Little. It must be particularly galling for him to run this through, because I'm told he is a man of integrity, and it must be particularly galling to have his name on this bill and have to take it through the House. But there's a combination of um, what I can see from across the House. There's heads down because they're ashamed of this and they're chewing on the rats and you can see the tails hanging out. Or there's some smug indifference for the fact that you know, or they know, that they just can vote this through the House. We're going through the motions here. We're trying to show the people of New Zealand that this is fundamentally wrong and they're keeping their heads down, but they're arrogant because they know they can just vote it through and it's going to become the law. And it'll be the election in 2020 when we finally find out what the people of New Zealand think about this, selling their soul to the devil. Now, every ar argument in re this review is needed because the only argument that the Honourable Andrew Little has put up is that it's to keep the integrity, the proportionality of representation in Parliament. That is the only argument they're holding up. But in the 2015 by-election, that went out the window. So I'm an elect, I'm elected MP. I'm a, I have an electorate. I have people that I answer to. And I, <laughs> Nick Smith says, who did I beat? Hey, look, I'm very proud of winning, and I was elected by the people of Northland to represent them. Who did they reject? And I, <laughs> who did they reject? OK. Yeah, Across the floor, we have a Green Party that's all list MPs, a New Zealand First Party that's all list MPs. They wouldn't know what representing an electorate means. And you, you, you are elected there by the people, and you represent the people of my electorate. And this law is wrong, 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 and they know it. They do. Now, I know that there's a, there's a clause in the Constitution, in the New Zealand First Constitution, $300,000 and, 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 that, that's, that, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, that $300,000 clause, apparently they'd all signed it, or some of them had signed it, and now apparently they haven't signed it. Apparently the Privileges Committee came in and, and now they haven't signed it. Well, I want to talk about, OK, I want to talk about um, wh why the New Zealand First MP should be very concerned and why this, they need to sign this supplementary, they need to vote this in so there's a review. Take Mark Patterson. I, talk, I want to finish up, but I didn't finish up last night. Mark Patterson. Very nice guy from the uh, Clutha Southland area. Used to be a National Party um, uh, branch chair for 15 years. Blue blood flowing through him. He, he, he didn't make the cut, so he went to the dark side and became a, a uh, New Zealand First candidate, and now he's an MP. I would, I would be very worried if I were Mark Patterson. I'd be very worried. Because you can imagine this scenario. If he'd been seen by his leader, Winston Peters, talking to me in the Kuru Lounge, he, that Winston Peters knows that he used to be a gnat. I would be very worried if I were him. All he has to do is upset his leader, and then his leader will kick him out of Parliament. Believe it. <laughs> yeah, so he used to be a gnat too. Yeah. So there you go. So if I were, if I were uh, Mark Patterson, I'd be very, very concerned about... And I can't understand why he's, not, why he's supporting this bill. But we know why he's supporting this bill. Because his boss is going to have the power to kick him out. And what they'll do to stay in power, this is what they're doing to stay in power. So, you know, I feel sorry for those guys. I feel so, very sorry for those guys because they have to vote for this bill because their boss has told them to. But as soon as they vote for this bill... The moment they cross swords with Mr Peters, and a number of MPs of his, of his ilk have, part, have crossed swords with him, they are gone burger. So um, this is a terrible bill, and 
I can't understand why you guys are supporting it. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. I call Honourable Mark Mitchell. Yeah, it's a pleasure to take a call on these. I'm going to talk to all four of these supplementary orders.